Hello soulmates, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time I make a video. And leave a comment in the comment section so that I could know your thoughts and your ideas. Today I would like to show you how to make um, this peplum top um, that has a zipper at the front. Now, there are just a few alterations that I'll be doing um, for this style because based on my client's preference. One, she doesn't want a long sleeve. She needs a um, half sleeve or a three-quarter sleeve. And also, if you notice at the bottom of the peplum, it has some box pleats. She doesn't want the box pleats. She just wants a regular peplum so if you want the box split there's a video that i made i'm going to put the link in the description box and also in the i card where you could see how i made the box pleats for that dress so this is the basic bodies of my clients if you do not know how i achieve the basic bodies i'm also going to put a link because i made a top for this lady before and um it's the box split top but um, there's only some differences that I did and I'm going to explain it so since the zipper is not going to be at the back you're going to put the zipper allowance of one inch at the front part of your bodice also this top will not be a bustier top it would be just a regular princess dart so I did not um, take in consideration the underbust measurement but I'm going to make a classic princess dart not the princess bust they are the modified princess dart so this is the classic one so instead of using your underbust measurement I just drew my regular dart so here is my shoulder line this is my chest line which is nine inches this is my bust point line this is my waist line also for the back i went ahead i drew my armhole this is something that should have been familiar with you if you have been following me for a while this all these measurements um should be um familiar and if it's not familiar you could refer to my previous vi um, videos because i want to minimize the time that i will spend on one video so what i'm going to do i'm just going to make some alterations to this pattern so let's start with the back. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to put in my neck width measurements. So at the back here, so this, if you were gonna put a zipper in the back, you would have left a one inch seam allowance. But I did it just because I wanted to manipulate this part. And you're going to see why, why I said that. So let's work on the back part and manipulate the back so that we will be able to go to the front part okay so i i went ahead and i put my my dart intake of one inch at the back so i think at this point i'm going to go over do a neck width of three inches all right let me do three and a half inches she doesn't want it too wide and one inch for the zipper allowance and i'm going to make that curve okay so that would be my neck width at this point also because I want to eliminate the zipper bulging at the back I'm still going to take my one inch here and I'm going to make that connection here. Remember in my previous videos, I always talk about the zipper bulging. So this would be an alteration. And before you forget, remember you have to add back this one inch to the waist measurement because from here to there would be your waist measurement, including the dart, and this would be the side seam. So what you're going to do is add back that one inch to this point so that you would not have shortage of measurements okay so now 
since we are not going to use the one inch for the darts i'm just going to use half an inch to join it um together so that i um i could join the back together so here i'm going to put half an inch instead of one inch instead of one inch for joining seam allowance so now i'm going to draw this line right here because you, you're not gonna have a zipper at the back you're gonna have it at the front okay so all of this here is your joining seam allowance so please disregard all of this that's here okay this is just for the alteration and remember you're going to put your joining seam allowance at the top so don't forget to do that also okay so i'm going to put half an inch for the joining seam allowance So that's the joining seam allowance. Now let's go to the front. So the back is already done. Okay. And now we're going to go on to the front part. So for the front, we're going to do the same thing here. We took three and a half inches for the neck width. So this is three inches. So I'm going to measure the half an inch along the slope. I'm going to measure the half an inch along the slope. And for the neck depth, I'm going to take um, three inches. If you notice on the dress, it's not very low, actually very high. So I'm going to connect those points and I'm gonna take it all the way to the zipper allowance there. And then I'm going to put my half an inch joining seam allowance at the shoulders. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the princess dart, okay? So, remember we said that we're going to move this bus dart, right? And we're going to make a princess dart. So, you're going to go to the midpoint. So, this is my midpoint. You see the indication there? And I'm going to draw a princess style line um, connecting here, okay? What you can do, you could go up three quarters of an inch or one inch, okay? And you're going to connect this point, okay? Before you start curving, They bring it down but remember to stop here and what you're going to do you're going to take before you do that we're going to let me separate the back from the front so that it's easier to handle all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to close up this dart so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna close up this dart right here so i'm gonna cut it off here And remember, if you're doing this method, if you're doing this method, remember that um, so hold on, let me just cut this here. If you're doing this method with the bus dart, remember it should be the difference between the back and the front the allowance that you put at the bottom. So now I'm going to open this part right here, this style line right here. And also you're going to manipulate this part. Before I go any further, let me do that. 
you don't want hair to be too sharp so let me just right there okay okay i'm gonna finish cutting off this and you're going to stop right at that bust point right there okay then you're going to just close your dart so you're going to close your dart like this so you're going to use your tape and close up that okay so let me finish cutting out the arm let me finish cutting out the armhole okay so what you find is that you see that there's a little shift here so you're going to just straighten that you have to chew this part you don't want it to be not straight so you chew that part and then what I'm going to do because I don't want the bulging here I'm going to take out about an inch from here And I'm going to draw this back. I'm going to connect it back right here. Okay. And I'm going to cut out this part. So this here, you, have, is, you call this contouring. Okay okay so what you're going to do now is that you're going to cut it out okay so i i went ahead and i cut it out but i want you to check because because we took out some measurements right here we're going to have to add back some measurements there. So you see that there's some measurements missing here. So it's about one inch. So what you have to do, you have to put paper underneath. You have to put paper underneath and extend it. Then redraw, okay? So now I'm going to extend this by one inch so that it accommodates for the measurement we took out. And then we're just going to redraw that. Okay. And now we're going to cut this off. So now we see that this is fits perfect. And remember to add your seam allowances, okay? Now you see that that is perfect and you don't have to worry. So you remember you have to add seam allowance to join it together. You're gonna add seam allowance at the bottom. There's all um, already seam allowance here and here. And if you add seam allowance to your armhole, you could go ahead and do it. I don't, when I add seam allowance at the top, sometimes I don't add it to the armhole, but you could just do But this point you could also have, have a princess dart here where you just connect it to this point so if you want a princess dart at the back also all you have to do is just make that connection to this point okay 
so you could make that connection here like this maybe I'll just do that it's easier to sew <laughs> okay you could just do that and just join it in You're satisfied with the curve you want it slightly bent all depends on you yeah just right this curve is nicer so I'll use that one okay so now I'm just gonna cut this out okay so that concludes the top part of this dress let's talk about the bottom part of this top okay so for the bottom part, as I said earlier, the, the picture that you saw has a box pleat, but my client doesn't want the box pleat, so I'm going to make a 360 degree peplum. You could do any peplum you want. I made a video on um, 360, 270, I did 180, I did um, 1440. I'm going to put the link so that you could find it. But her waist, to get the 360 quickly, her waist is 38 and the length of the top, she, um, the peplum is 8 inches. So she needs a total of um, 24 inches for her top. And remember we cut the, the, from the nape of the neck to the waist was 16. So it means then she needs 8 more inches to complete the top. So the peplum is going to be 8 inches. So you're gonna take her waist, you're gonna add one inch for the zip allowance that, that, that's at the front. And then you're gonna divide her waist by 6.28. You'll get the radius, that's 39 divided by 6.28. That will be 6.25. And the amount of fabric you're gonna need on fold is going to be the length, which is eight inches, plus the, ra plus the radius, which is 6.25 plus one inch for, se for seam allowance, which is 15.25. So at the end of it all, you need a, an amount of fabric unfold, 15.25. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut out everything that I have. I'm going to cut out everything. So for the, I'm gonna cut out the top first, or maybe I cut out the peplum, then I do the top. So this is the fabric that I have, I have 16, inches unfold so this is the peplum that i'm cutting out now right so you're gonna check this is unfold fold it in four you see one two and then two more pieces so you fold it in four and you're gonna check to see if you have that 16 inches so i have 18 that's fine then 18 here that's more than enough so what you're going to do now, you're going to cut this out. So I'm going to take my 16 inches here. I'm going to take it from the apex now all the way around. If you want it double you can go ahead and do that so that would be the length so the radius is going to be 6.25 that would be here so this is my radius okay but remember we said that we don't want it too big so we're gonna go up half an inch for your joining seam allowance okay so you're gonna cut this off now Mm 
Okay. So I'm gonna use this one as my back. So I'm gonna notch that. But I wanted to do something for the front. So, because I don't want the front to have too much fair peeking out. So, you know, if you should sew it like this, you have flares right here. And because it's at the front, I'm going to reduce the amount of flare at the front. So I'm gonna come in from the center front now. I'm gonna come in about maybe four inches, right? Or three and a half inches. And I'm going to connect it back, connect it back to the front there because I don't want it to be to have too much flare at the front part. I don't want it sticking out, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna take out some of the flare at the front. See, just like that. And then I'm going to connect it back here. So that's a little trick that I teach you now. See that? So now this would be the back, this would be the center front where the zipper is gonna be like this. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, just go ahead and cut my lining and cut the rest of the fabric. Okay, so mate, so I went ahead and I cut out all my pieces. These are for the front, this is for the back. And I added my seat, my sewing allowance. This is my sleeve, my sleeve pattern. If, as I said, if you want it longer, go ahead. And this is my peplum. So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna work on the upper part first. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to attach my darts. So I'm gonna attach it on the front and also on the back. I'm also going to attach my peplum to the lining. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so mate, so I went ahead and I attached the princess darts. This is what you're, you're going to have. I also did it for the lining. So what I'm going to do now, you're going to take your your main fabric and your lining and here I made a slit so you see that that's where my zipper is going to start so what I'm going to do I'm going to take my seam allowance for the neckline from there also I'm going to attach the sides so the side of the lining also to the side of the other lining and then the back the main piece to the main piece then I'm gonna do my neckline for both the back and the front. So it should be facing each other like this, right sides facing each other, and then you're going to take your lining. I'm gonna do that and show you what it looks like. Okay, so mate, so I went ahead and I turned in my neckline. I also attached the sides of the main fabric and the lining. This is what it, it looks like and I also ironed it down. I also went ahead and I marked my, I ironed down my, my zipper allowance, both for the lining and for the main fabric. This is what it is. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to attach the shoulders. So if you notice the shoulders are not yet attached. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my shoulders and I'm going to put them together like this like this match them correctly if you notice they match perfectly then I'm going to flip one of the lining over like this and then I'm going to take my half an inseam allowance that I've left and I'm going to do that on both both um both of them then what I'm going to do after I attach my shoulders I'm going to take the main part of the fabric. So this is my main part of the fabric. And I'm going to take the main part of the peplum and I'm going to join it together all the way to the end. 
and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the lining right sides facing each other so I'm going to do that and I will come back and show you what to do next I okay, so mate so I went ahead and I attached my my zipper at the front now I've made a detailed tutorial on how you could do this you could check it out I'm gonna put the link in the i card for you to find it now the only thing that is left on this dress to do is to attach my sleeves now you can use whatever sleeve you want in the picture it's a long sleeve you could do that but I'm gonna put a basic sleeve in this top so if you find this video helpful, do not forget to give me a giant thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time I make a video. Until we meet again, I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Bye.